What's up survivalist Jason here. Today I'm going to show off my fatwood harvesting kit. So this is a nine and a half by 20 inch bag. I got it from Hobby Lobby and the brand is basically yours. And it says it's usually $12.99, but I actually got it 40% off. I used a coupon from there. So that's really a nice steal right there. Eventually, I want to wax this bag to waterproof it a little bit and so I don't end up with a wet spot when I lay this down on the ground especially on a sto snowy type of environment right here. So let's go ahead and show you what's inside. So here's the bag. It's a simple little drawstring but as you can see it has plenty of room to put a lot of fat wood inside of. It is even tall enough to put really long branch vertically inside of here and you don't even have to process it to actually carry it so it's always nice to have plenty of room to carry a lot of fatwood when you're out hunting for fatwood up here got a, a small little pocket has kevin outdoors 1978 bushcraft knife custom made high carbon steel really nice knife for a little bit of bushcraft out here especially to put on a little bit of the branches especially if one side isn't as good of quality fat wood as the other side because if it's the, the bottom usually carries a lot more of the resin so it's always nice to have a something to kind of break it apart so you save some space inside of your bag but also it's nice to have something a little bit heavier to notch on the side of the branch to see if there's actually fat wood inside of it next are my trusty Coleman folding saw that I use primarily for cutting fatwood. You can even see a lot of the residue that's stuck on top of there. <laughs> Got this from Flint and Steel Survival. Next, I have a red bandana. This is so you can either use it for marking a tree or anything like that, marking an area. You could also use it as a ground cloth to prevent your pants from getting wet if you're kneeling, but also you can use this to collect the sawdust underneath the branch that you're cutting. Always nice to have some type of bandana with you as well. Plenty of other uses. Then this pocket inside right here, zippered pocket. I have a write and rain notepad and of course a pen. This is to write down any notes. If there is a certain fatwood gold mine and I wasn't able to gather all the fatwood. I remember where it is and how to get to it, and which I could come back and gather more on another day. Next, I have a foot by foot of aluminum foil. This is to collect some pine resin or sap and put it inside of aluminum foil. I could use this as a base of a fire, but it's primarily just to carry a bunch of the sticky sap so it doesn't get the inside of this bag all sticky. Next, I have this cinch bag by Elk. Got this for a buck at a, a little thrift store. I'm not quite sure on the material. It's almost like a canvas, but it's more of a cloth, cotton cloth. So if you know what brand that is, let me know in the comments. But it's always nice to have an extra container or cinch bag just so if you have filled this all up you can fill this up with even more fat wood but also this is primarily to keep all the smaller pieces of fat wood inside of so it don't, doesn't get lost at the bottom of this pack so always nice to have an extra bag next got a ozark trail fixed blade knife right here small little knife to keep with you do any quick little cuts but also it's to help to spark the ferro rod in here. It's Nathan 4071 the hex ferro rod so at the back right here plenty sharp to actually spark it up so and plus I could save the blade on this one by using this if I want to do any shavings next I got a nice hatchet by Gerber. I know Gerber is not really the best brand, but I think for the price and the durability of this certain axe is pretty good. 
forgot the name of it, but it's like a combination hatchet. So plenty hefty up top right there. But it has a hidden knife at the bottom right here. Simple little cutting tool. Not really much to uh, use when processing a lot of food. But at the bottom right here inside, there's like a little groove. Enough space to hide a very small ferro rod. I got this from firesteel.com. It's like a 2 inch by probably, I don't know, 8th of an inch in diameter. So, nice little combination tool right there. Plenty durable. I've used it multiple times for gathering fat wood. And finally, the end of the bag. A good pair of leather gloves. Especially dealing with a bunch of sharp objects and really heavy sharp objects. It's always nice to have some protection for your hands because I know dang well that I could get caught by a simple saw. And I've done that when I was building my desert bushcraft shelter. And uh, you never know when this could deflect and just hit your hand or anything like that, wherever your hand is. So it's always nice to have some protection right there. So there is my fatwood harvesting kit. I hope you enjoyed it. Just give me any ideas of what else I should possibly add to this kit or maybe something I could take out and replace. So I hope it gave you some ideas of what to put inside of your kit. I want to thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Hey, Shalisha, look it. Got some tree boogers for ya. Mm, I'll pick those right for ya. Oh, yeah. Perfect piece right there, too. And it's mushy. Yeah. Gotta love those mushy tree boogers right there. Gotta love that. What's a fatwood video without some actual fatwood use? So really nice fatwood right there. I wonder if there's gonna be any. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wonderful piece of fatwood right there. Here's a sneak peek of one of the logs. I'm definitely gonna be trying to get. Look at that. Oh my. You're gonna be mine. Someday, someday, when I do Fatwood Gold Mine Part 5.